never know what could come out in the outback, just like you can never know what's gonna be on this channel. Today I've got three new characters for you. If you know who they are, keep watching the video anyways, because you have to, as a command. You can't ignore the commands of people with cool accents. Then you're just an idiot. Get ready for some information that's gonna blow your mind. We're out here. In the lands, we've got three new characters incoming. I bet you don't even know who they are, do you? Type in the comments right now if you know who they are. There's three of them. If you know who they are, make sure you leave a like on the video because it'll show that you're more supreme than anyone else out there because you already knew who they were and make sure you subscribe because i just predicted the future the future ay -ay -ay -ay! guys so as the crazy australian man who happens to be wearing the same shirt as me mentioned we got three new characters. You can see immediately. Maybe you've seen this Reddit post. Maybe you have not. I just saw it. It was posted one hour ago by Broken Teeth 213 Whoever you are, thanks for sharing. We've got a Ghost Rider confirmed coming into the game. We've got an image here. Boom. It's sideways, which I don't like, but it is what it is. It's here. I don't know if there's another image. I can't click over. This was something that was on Facebook, but appears to be taken down from Facebook as of now. I cannot find it. It was on the Marvel Strike Force Facebook page and I do not see it on there anymore. So we can say that this announcement is probably coming soon because why would it be announced if it wasn't? So Ghost Rider is the first character now. I am really interested to see how he is. He seems like he could be like a really strong character on his own, like just a pretty strong dude comes in, beat some stuff up, can kind of fit in with whatever team i know they don't typically like to do that but i have no idea what synergies this dude would have i don't even know if he would be a hero or a villain or whatever you know like i don't know what he would be so it's really interesting i'm glad that they went with this iteration of him the motorcycle's a little weird but this iteration of him is one of my more preferred ones as opposed to there was one that was leaked uh, not leaked, but data mined or something like that a couple months back and it was the other version of him and I was not a fan of it But now we have this one confirmed. I mean, this is their art and right here. You can see behind me. This is their logo This is 2019 Marvel on it. So I mean, that's, that's the real deal. So this is coming We don't know when but as Halloween is coming up soon. It makes sense to be for Halloween So it's pretty lit. That's uh, pretty exciting. So that is the first character that we have coming in soon What do you guys think? that his kit might be? Do you think that he's gonna have synergies with anybody? I mean, he's coming for Halloween, but they're not gonna have like a Halloween tag. So like, I wonder like, I don't know. I really have no idea what his tags would be at all. I'd love to hear in the comments what those tags would be. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited? I know some people are pretty excited and uh, yeah, pretty exciting that he's coming. I've wanted him for a long time. So I thought that that was a pretty cool find, pretty exciting find on this fine Wednesday. So this next character is interesting. It, uh, this is someone that's been data mined. I don't know if he's gonna be coming for Halloween. We'll be interested to see. This character's name is Strife. And you can see him right here behind me. That's pretty cool. Uh, apparently, my understanding from a little bit of looking up, reading, watching videos and stuff, what I found is that he's like some version of Cable that was raised by Apocalypse. That's what I heard Casino say. So if it's wrong, yell at Casino. But you have this. It's kind of why he looks like uh, Cable. But yeah, very cool. He looks like he's going to be good. I guess he's from X-Men. You can see behind me. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. I don't know really anything about him. He's a villain. Um, and he's got a big old helmet thing. Not sure what that's all about. But he looks really cool. I'm excited for him. Uh, apparently, there was data mine. He shares uh, like move, like a animation with Thanos or something. So that would be interesting to see because Thanos has unique cool elements. Maybe it'll be like on his basic because that's a pretty dope one. But yeah, so overall, so we've got Strife and we've got Ghost Rider so far. Um, they're pretty exciting. I'm pretty, pretty thrilled for them. Pretty thrilled for them. I don't know why they just seem cool. Like, I don't know 
this character, but he looks awesome. So it's like, okay, cool. I mean, I'll take it. So what do you guys think? Uh, what do you guys think about this one? Are you familiar with this character? Uh, let me know. I really just am not. I never knew who he was. But I mean, he looks pretty sick. I'm excited to learn more about him and to play him and use him. And I'm sure he's going to be powerful, right? So let me know what you guys think. All right, so the next character we have, Elsa Bloodstone. This is one that uh, Mobile Gamer had been talking about, OMG. And this is uh, this is a character, I know that she just came into uh, one of the other Marvel games. I'm not sure if it was a Future Fight Contest of Champions, one of those, but she just came into that game. And I think there was a data mine for her coming to Marvel Strike Force as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know really anything about her other than the fact that her name is Elsa Bloodstone. That's all I know. I mean, it looks like she's fighting some zombies here. That's kind of Halloween-y. Yeah, I mean, battling the, the zombies. I mean, she looks pretty cool. She got guns and stuff. Uh, apparently, uh, one of the other things that was data mined is that she shares uh, animations with Deadpool. And so that would make sense because she's got these pistols here. So she could just, you know, could share the the uh, basic there. It's pretty cool. I mean, she seems like a really cool character. I don't, again, know very much about her or know very much of her background but we can read ready so you know whatever monster hunter similar to buffy the vampire slayer that's pretty cool but she seems overall like she's gonna be a cool character and yeah i don't know i was kind of hoping as far as characters that we might get i was kind of hoping we would get blade for halloween and i guess it's possible that we still could you know it's not just gonna be limited to three I mean, shoot, I mean, Fox X could just say, hey, we're going to release one new character a week until Halloween, and you could have these three and then Blade. That would be dope. I know a lot of people have wanted Blade for a while now, and we haven't quite gotten him yet. Obviously, he's not in the game, but he also has that show coming up, or is it a movie? I don't remember. He's got some sort of something coming up soon, so they're probably going to release him then. That makes more sense money-wise, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but this is pretty dope, guys. I like these new characters. I like... Uh, I like new characters that are coming to the game, right? Like, it's always awesome to have new characters coming to the game. I don't, a lot of people I've noticed recently are just kind of like, ah, oh, there's too many characters. And I'm just like, yeah, like, it is kind of hard to level them up, which is kind of annoying because you can't really afford to level them all up. But I just try to look at it and say, hey, these are cool. So I don't have, like, money invested, though, so I can understand if you, like, paid money for characters and then you couldn't afford to level them up. That would be irritating and frustrating. But I don't know. I don't, I don't do that. So, of course, no shade if you do. Um, but I don't have that problem, you know, <laughs> you got first world problems, bud. But anyways, so I'm thinking these characters are pretty dope and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of them. I'll be interested to see their animations, their tags, because again, like what tags would Elsa have? I have no idea. Hero, I guess. I mean, she looks, seems like a hero. So like a hero blaster. I don't know, like. I have no idea, like hero, blaster, like maybe, I don't, I don't know, bio, because she's vampire hunter, monster hunter. So yeah, I mean, same for Strife, like what tags is he gonna have? Villain, like eternal maybe, I don't know. I don't know any of his background, so maybe like eternal or I don't know. You know what I mean? Like cosmic, I guess. I mean, they could just, maybe they'll just have the basic tags. You know what I mean? So I guess we'll see. Um, it's really gonna just be left to be known. I'm sure Fox Next will talk about them soon, maybe in the weekly blog post on Friday since this information has gotten leaked through data mines and through the Facebook page. So again, this is the Reddit post. We got uh, Broken Teeth 213. Uh, thanks for sharing that. And like I said, if you click on the Facebook link, it's there, but it doesn't it doesn't lead to anything. It's kind of weird. I know some other people have been talking recently about uh, Beast and Hella because they're on the loading screen. We don't know when they're coming. None of that's been put up at all. I think I remember Casino saying that uh, Beast and Cyclops were kind of on the back burner. Um, don't quote me on that, but I, I think I remember Casino saying that one time. But I imagine when Hela comes, it's going to be like you probably get reworked Thor and then we'll have Loki. And then I imagine we're going to get two more Asgardians out of somewhere. So I don't know. Stuff to be thinking about, guys. So I hope you guys found this information uh, exciting. I do. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and I hope that you have a good rest of your day. And uh Thanks for supporting me. You guys are awesome. I really am grateful for you.